damit herzlich willkommen wieder zurück zu Cloud Punk. Ja, in der letzten Folge waren wir hier bei Emmets äh, Auto Garage Stop. Und zwar in der letzten Folge haben wir den Never Slow Joe ähm, Antriebs, Auftriebs äh, mit da gegeben, äh, damit er sein Rennen machen kann. Und wir haben das zurückgegeben, damit er natürlich ähm, seine Schulden bei Emmet bezahlen tut. Na, jetzt holen wir uns erstmal einen Kaffee. Und wie man sieht, habe ich das äh, noch nicht gemacht mit Evelyn. Das mache ich dann zum einen späteren Zeitpunkt. Ich weiß nicht wann, aber erstmal gönnen wir uns einen Kaffee, würde ich sagen. Machen ein bisschen Story. ganz schön viel los. Ich merke das auch schon durch meinen adaptiven Träger, durch die Playstation 5, da ich das Ganze ja auf der Playstation 5 spiele, äh, hat man ein Feedback, also einen Gegendruck, äh, weil man Gas gibt und gegebenenfalls bremst. Und umso mehr das Auto Schaden nimmt, umso mehr habe ich Gegendruck äh, für Gas geben. Und ich merke das langsam, dass es schwieriger wird, Gas zu geben. Denn ja, scheinbar ist das Auto Schrott. Aber ich glaube, ich möchte mir noch nichts holen. 633. Ja, ich spare erstmal halt noch. Ja. Weil es ist halt, ja, keine Ahnung, wichtig, ne, würde ich sagen. Ach, wir, ach, wenn wir Orte entdecken, Old Town, kriegen wir auch noch mal Dollars. Okay, das ist cool gemacht. Das ist ziemlich cool. Na gut, tanken, äh, das müssen wir halt machen. Ich weiß nicht, was passiert, wenn das Auto stehen bleibt. Ob das Spiel vorbei ist oder <lacht> ob es irgendwie in einer Art und Weise weitergeht. Das weiß ich nicht. Aber wir sind am Ziel angekommen. Schön sieht das hier aus. Scheinbar ist es wirklich Wasser da unten, ne? Und kein Bug. Ich habe noch mal den Sound leiser gemacht, weil ich noch nicht zufrieden war. Ähm, hoffentlich klappt das jetzt, weil also die Musik, die ist ziemlich geil. Also Soundtrack, na, ein absoluter Muss. Aber das kickt ordentlich rein, wenn die äh, na, Musik kommt. Korpsack kommt, da kann man nicht reden. Okay, kann man dann da rein? Nope. Wahrscheinlich später kann, kommt man dann da rein in den Bereich. Come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? 
Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Okay. Einfach mal 300 Tacken gekriegt. Und äh, wir haben. Oh no! Your oh. mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Okay. Auch ziemlich geil. Also das hier erinnert mich richtig an, St an Stray, das Spiel. Was ich auch irgendwann mal spielen werde hier auf dem Kanal. Ähm, freue ich mich auch schon. Und wir haben tatsächlich 14 Lochkarten. Lochkarten, nicht Lochkarten. Und ja, jetzt haben wir Fernse Fernsender. Okay. Hat der Hackys guten Ohren. Fernsender, das sieht aus wie eine Art Fernsender. Sie sollten damit zu den Behörden gehen. Wer sind die Behörden in der Stadt? Gibt es nur Korpsex? Nun, wir müssen ihn an einen sicheren Ort bringen. Ich meine, wir können nicht einfach den Knopf drücken, oder? Ich meine, oder? Äh, nein? Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <lacht> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So numb I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> What a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Oh, so nett gemacht. Und ich sehe gerade, wir haben das als äh, Nebenmission. Das mit Korpsack bringen. Bringe ich ihn einfach mal. Weil, was, was sollen wir mit dem Fernsehen? Wir können eh damit nichts äh, tun. Glaube zumindest. Hi. I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Well, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. 
What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. Okay, it's total weird, aber auch auch echt cool gemacht, dass Nebencharaktere äh, ja so gut gemacht sind, finde ich. Ist heute eher selten, würde ich sagen, oder? Gehen wir auf die Karte gucken. Äh, wir haben hier alles abgegrast. Da ist der äh, Mann. Da, neben den Holocash. Würde ich sagen, gehen wir hier hin, aber noch nicht Kaffee trinken. Ich würde sagen, wir holen uns die restlichen Sachen und hoffentlich ist das dann noch mal eine Lochkarte. Denn die brauchen wir. Ich hoffe, wir kommen gleich da unten durch, wenn wir hier durchgehen. Da unten raus, wenn wir hier durchgehen. So rum. So rum wird ein Schuh draußen, ne? Jo, und das sind wir. Downtown Bewirtungszone. Okay. Ja, machen wir nachher. Jetzt haben wir 15 Lochkarten. Jetzt fehlen uns nur noch 5. Da habe ich einen Fehler getan in der letzten Folge. Sondern das ist hier so ein... Okay. So mehr so die rote Meile hier. Und irgendwie... Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Hmm, oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all, this is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads, or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory, and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. 
So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Oh, Trophäe gekriegt Load Ender. Äh, ziemlich cool. Wir kriegen gerade echt gutes Geld, muss ich sagen. Bevor wir mit Neo reden, gebe ich mal mit dem Kaffee Typ hier reden. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo? From the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Okay, I'll sprechen wir mal mit Neo. From Neo Cafe. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Um, I don't That's know. pretty sweet. Not thirsty anymore. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm That's glad enough. of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. 
Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example. I checked my balance, and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit, whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the Founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Korra, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh no, I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Okay, wir haben jetzt äh, äh, was freigeschaltet für, für das Auto. Ähm, das sieht so cool aus hier, ne? Äh, mir ist auch aufgefallen, wir haben auch keine Wolken mehr. Tatsächlich ist alles grau. Und wir haben nur noch die Mission Evelyn. Ich würde sagen, ich gehe mal kurz zur Werkstatt und das Auto reparieren, da wir jetzt ein bisschen Geld haben. Machen wir das mal eben. Verwender A? Okay. Aber wir spielen noch äh, Controller. Playstation. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your Hava? 
I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fasciatic control. Okay. Ja, ich habe mir mal so einen, so einen Speed Boost geholt. Geil. Das sieht man hier. Mit X äh, drücke ich und dann aktiviert sich das und dann sind wir schneller. Ne? Also ist schon geiler. Dann, uh, ne, da waren wir nicht hin. Sind ja eigentlich schon hier, glaube ich, ne? Theoretisch müssten wir schon hier sein. Jo. immer würde ich sagen sammeln wir mal erstmal die gebiete ab und dann ähm, machen wir die mission so mache ich das immer da hat man das immer so abgehakt und dann muss man hier auch zumindest nicht mehr herkommen Ich hoffe, wenn wir die ganzen Lochkarten haben, hoffentlich will sie dann nicht auf einmal 40 haben oder 30. Ich hoffe, das reicht dann erstmal von Anfang und dass wir auch die Nebenmission dann Fairwillen abgeschlossen haben. Das wäre cool. Und jetzt reden wir erstmal mit Jimmy. Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. You're gonna invest in them one day, I'm telling you. Yo, Jimmy hat die Skills und ich hab das in folgenden Ende. Ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns äh, in der nächsten Folge von Cloudpunk 20 Uhr.